Hey there, I'm Gary, and welcome back to Get Going Fast, the place where we get into this excellent hobby, AI, and hopefully kind of a quick and efficient manner, in which maybe you're going to learn something along the way. Today, we're going to look at a real quick uh, kind of tip sort of thing, more one of these toolkit installations. We're going to look at something that's called MK Link, and what it effectively is going to allow us to do is to download models in one place or large amounts of data in one place and share it in other places without having to download it twice. Now, I know any of you all who have... Uh, used anything with AI, you're downloading 10 gigabyte models, you're downloading 24 gigabyte models, and then someone tells you, hey, we need to reinstall this over here, or you need to get it again for this app, and you're like, oh, because you're running out of disk space, right? It's like that meme that says uh, there's the migraine, you know, caused by whatever, and then there's the migraine that's caused by running out of space because your models are taking up your whole hard drive. It's like, oh. So what MK Link is going to allow us to do, especially with things like our Comfy UI, is to download all of our models into one place, okay? And then actually, when we're using something like Swarm UI or we're using another app that has those same models, create what's called a symbolic link. Okay, and uh, and then that way we just got to download it once. Same thing going to work with our large language models. If you're doing chatbots, download your chatbots once. You can use them in your Ooga Booga. You can use them with your Olama, your Web UI, your Cobalt CPP, all this stuff. Really easy through some pretty simple commands that I'm going to teach you here. Okay, but before we do that, I do want to thank you for liking and sharing this video, sharing the channel, liking it, telling your friends about it because it really does help us to grow, which means that we can spend more and more time uh, together getting into this hobby. So thank you so very much for doing that. I certainly do appreciate it. Be sure to hit us up on the Twitters, on the Instagram, go find us over at Reddit. We'll treat you nice over on Reddit and, uh, come hit us up on the discord, share with us what you're working on. But, uh, for now, let's get into this. This thing probably this is like 10 minute sort of video here. Um, but invaluable stuff that is really going to take your work to the next level. So let's get on with it, yo. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, use something called MK Link and we're gonna essentially make um, like time portals in space, right? So like, like, like it's like in the game Portal. You got like the blue portal and you got the red portal and you step through the blue portal and you pop out the red portal. So like shortcuts, okay? We're gonna walk through this door and it's gonna access us to this, oh God, my hands are backwards, to this other room over here, okay? So let's, um, it's gonna look something like this. We go to our file explorer and let's say we're gonna have like a folder, I'm just gonna grab something like this FFmpeg, okay? And we're gonna be able to make a link to this that um, that we hit elsewhere. So it's not actually copying the data, but what it's doing is it's sharing the folder as if it is an actual real folder. Real simple, we're gonna go over here to our command line and let's just type, to get an idea of what we're looking at, Let's type MK link, okay? Now MK, of course, is gonna stand for make and then link. Now we're gonna put a forward slash. You can tell it's a forward slash because uh, the top of it is leaning uh, to the right, okay? And then we're gonna put a question mark, which is typically how you can get the help commands, okay? So this pops up like this. Let's scroll back a bit so we can see it a little bit better. All right, so we look at this and you're going to see that it gives us how the commands work. So MK link, and then don't, this is all, it looks a little confusing. It's not, it's just showing you options. So you type something like MK link, and these are parameters. It's like dash D or slash H or slash J. So we're going to use one of those. And then it says to put where we want to create the link and then where we want to put the target. Okay. Uh, what, what we're coming from. All right, and now um, your command will look something like this. Let's say we're gonna do a directory. We would go mklink forward slash D, and then let's say we're gonna create something on the C drive, okay? So I'm gonna use a backslash for this one because in Windows when we're talking about folders, we use a backslash, okay? So this one you can tell it's a backslash because it's leaning to the left, okay? Um, and then we'll just call it my backup, okay? 
And then we'll say where we want to come from. So let's say this is a folder that exists, which is FFmpeg. Okay, so we can create that and notice it says symbolic link created for C my backup. Okay, so it's got these arrows, so they're going to the same place. Now, this is a, um, a symbolic link, which means that everything is still existing over here on the C on the C FFM peg. This is just a shortcut. Okay, so if I deleted ffmpeg okay if i deleted that folder this shortcut would still exist but it would lead to nowhere so it'd be like having a time portal that leads to another place like stargate you know like i've got a stargate here that leads me to this other planet but if that planet doesn't exist or that stargate gets destroyed then you have the link but it doesn't go anywhere okay um so that's how that works now we could pop over to our file explorer and you'll see that down here it created a folder called my backup and if you look at it it's got like a little arrow on it like it's a shortcut so here's the original ffmpeg you can see these files bin doc presets okay now if we go down to uh, my backup and click it, it takes us to the same place okay so that of course is helpful because if i want to access something and without having to go there all the time um, then i can create that there so i can do the same thing with my desktop okay i create a, a shortcut to the other places all right um now let's say we got something like over here we're going to go to our comfy ui folder okay and under comfy ui we've got our models folder now i want to right click on this click on properties you can't see this but my <laughs> models folder is 421 gigabytes okay that's a lot so it's it's quite large now let's say i want to be downloading stuff for other stuff but i don't want to have to download all that again um you know i've got over here when i go back to the image i've got a swarm ui installation Okay, and uh, maybe I want to use the same models in there. Well, without doing this, I would have to download them all again, which is would be ridiculous. It'd be like a terabyte of, of just redundant information. Okay, so what we can do is we can go back over to our Comfy UI, our models folder. We click into it, and we go up here, and you see that we've got the folders, uh, uh, the URL, the link, or whatever to the file place so we could just copy this okay um, and then we go over here we could go back to our command terminal let's go uh, we go here we paste in the location of our um, of where it's coming from now right now if I did this, it would create it under it would create a link to it under C my backup. But let's do something a little bit more creative. Let's go over to back to our file explorer and let's go back to our swarm UI installation. So I'm gonna click into my stable swarm UI, click DL back in, go into my comfy, comfy UI. Now here's my models folder. Okay, now I can't, I've already got a models folder, so I can't create create a symbolic link with the same name. So watch this. I'm going to just right click on it and I'm going to delete it. She's gone. Oh my God, what have you done? No, the models folder is gone. Ha ha, I tricked you. I'm going to click up to here. Okay. We're going to get the pathway to here. We'll copy it. Now if we go back to our command terminal, okay, and we paste it in here and then I add another backslash and I add models now watch what's gonna happen it's gonna create a link here in my swarm UI okay and it's going to link to my comfy UI model so if I go enter okay um, oh I messed this up sorry got to delete the old one here got to delete this okay now if we hit it look at the symbolic link is created so now we go back to our file explorer and we look here in our swarm ui comfy ui check it out it takes us straight to the models that we've already got in our comfy ui which means that now i can use them in swarm ui okay so i just totally uh shared that folder i just have to download it to one place and i could put it elsewhere what you could do okay is you could make a copy of your comfy ui you could go back to your 
Comfy UI. Maybe you've got multiple installations of Comfy UI going on. You don't want to just have it in one. You could go to your Comfy UI folder, grab your models, cut cut it right, and then maybe you just go back and you create a folder called something like. Um, you know, maybe you just create a backup folder called Comfy UI Models and you put it directly on your D drive and then every Comfy installation you use, you just create a link. 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 So that way you can delete it. You can get, you know, you can delete models. Uh, I mean, delete installations, reinstallate it, all this kind of stuff without having to worry about it. So you have it on sitting on one location, just as your models, and then you install Comfy UI and you just create a symbolic link uh, in your Comfy UI installation. And then you say, well, I also now want to try with my portable. I want to get a portable. And so you do your portable installation, same thing. You delete the models folder, and then you create a symbolic link to the models that you have saved over there. And that way you never have to delete or re-download these things, okay? Because it's all done with the symbolic links. Okay, so let me show you one other thing here. Now let's go back. I'm going to type CLS to clear my screen. And let's go back to our MK link. And we're going to put the question mark again. Now, let's say we do something. We're not going to worry about these hard links. Okay, I'll explain a hard link to you here in a second. Um, and <coughs> directory junction and all this kind of stuff. But um, let's say we want to do a single file. Okay, so let's say I've got, uh, we're going to do something easy. Okay, like just, uh, but let's say I've got like an LLM. Like I've got a Llama 3 model or something that I want to use in different uh things like Ooga Booga and Web UI. Well, I can copy a single file and do the same thing. But let's do it over here with a um, single image. Let's say I go over here and I've got this image of Pamela Anderson and this Ninja Turtle, okay? And so let's say I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to copy it as path, okay? And I'm going to go back to my command terminal. Now I'm going to go MK link, but this time I'm not going to worry, okay, about any of these dash D, dash H, because I'm just doing a single file. And I'm going to say on my D drive, I'm going to call it my pick.jpg, okay? And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to control V that bad boy in there, and it creates it. So now if I go over to my file explorer and I hit on my D, you're going to see down here that I've got one called my pick. And so let's click it and we'll see it pop up. And there you have it. So I clicked it on, uh, uh, it's actually in my My Pictures folder, but I clicked it under the C drive and then it popped up on the screen there. Okay, so I made symbolic links. Okay, it's very similar to a, um, a desktop link. Okay, just a little bit small differences there. Okay, now the um, last thing that I want to point out here is this um, hard link. So what happens when we create these links? Okay, so let's say, um, you know, when we create a normal link using the dash, the forward slash D or just not using it, what we're saying is we're saying like, let's say uh, um, variable A points to a certain place, okay? Say variable A points to C. Okay, then we get variable B and variable B points to A, which points to C. Okay, so it's like it's like a line. A gosh, my hands are backwards on this thing, but A points to C, okay? B points to A. So so you click on B, it goes to A, which goes to C. Now if I delete A, B has no connection to C. C is just gone. Okay? It's like the Stargates again. If the Stargate is destroyed, then it doesn't matter. You can't get there any longer. Okay, when you use a hard link, and you can only do this with files, not with folders, what you do is you share the same location. So it would be like saying A points to C, but B also points to C. Okay, so they're sharing the same place in memory. Okay, it's it's like what's called a memory a memory variable. When you're using your computer, your data is stored in certain addresses. Okay, and so every file you do, it has a very specific location on your hard drive that it goes there, and it says this is the actual location of that. 
Okay, that would be the C in this issue. So when you create a hard link, what you're doing is you're saying, I'm creating this other, I'm creating B, but B is going to go to the exact same place as A, which means that if I change something on B, it's going to be changed for A, because I'm not actually changing the data in here, I'm changing the data up here. So that way, if I deleted A, B still exists, okay? But you got to be careful because let's say I have a whole bunch of these. I make a whole bunch of hard links like A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And, and I'm trying to get rid of this data. But one of those hard links still because I get rid of A, B, C, D, E, and F, but I forget to delete G. The data still exists. Okay, so that's a hard link. So, um Again, it's not copying the information, which is nice. So it's not like you're taking a one gigabyte file and you're making multiple copies of it. Um, but it is creating several doorways that get to that file. And unless I close every doorway, that is not going to go away. That's a hard link. Now, when we use the forward slash D or we just do the normal link without any of these parameters, all it's doing is it's saying, okay, one file, one folder, has the key to get to this, okay? Everything else has to go into that file first, okay? And then that one will go up there. So if I delete this one, it doesn't matter. The data is going to go away. This is just a broken link, okay? That's the difference. Does that make sense? With a normal one, B points to A, A points to C. With the hard, with the hard links, both A and B point to C, okay? So to get rid of C, you got to get rid of both an A and B. All right, so that's how that works, uh, clear as mud, right? So I do want to point out to you that we have a little quick script installer that's for members over at getgoingfast.pro, and this just does it for you. So if you want to create a new sim, sim link, instead of having to type everything in, you can just press the one button, okay? And then you can choose, do you want to do a single file or a directory? So like for here, if you want to do a directory, you'd press two. You still have to have the paths, so you'd still have to go over here and you find, uh, you know, your... Comfy UI folder, okay, you'd still go through here, grab your models folder, okay, but then all you got to do is go back here, paste it in, and then it says where do you want to put it, and then you put it wherever you want, so I'll put it over here under D slash blah, 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 okay, and then it's going to go ahead and do it for you, okay, real simple, then now if we head back over to our file explorer, you're going to see that there is the blah, blah, blah folder, and it brings up the checkpoints. Okay, so that's a real easy way to do it if you don't want to do it manually. Okay, um, you can also view your logs to kind of see what um, has been created. So this helps if you've got a bunch of stuff you want to delete things with this. This um, right now does not create hard links. Um, I just didn't think it was that important, but we can add it certainly if you want it. But real simple, easy way, save space, um, using multiple areas. All you got to do is know the file location, okay? So we're going to end it there. In the meanwhile, you guys stay good. Enjoy your stuff. Enjoy your weekend. We got more installations coming up. Uh, Text-to-speech stuff is just taken off, so we've got a lot of text-to-speech things that we need to be looking at here and we're going to get into that over the next couple days but in the meanwhile i want you guys to stay good and you know yo we'll see you on the other side